not afraid of the camera anymore. Yeah, not scared of you. Oh, hell of bed, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. In today's video, we talking about a cologne for champions. We talking about a cologne for winners. We talking about Invictus. So I destroyed the box on this one a long time ago, so do it with me, guys. Who gives a fuck about a box, right? So the presentation, man, presentation pretty cool from the bottle. Again, it's reminiscent of a trophy, because it is a trophy. Nice distribution on Atomizer. Overall, man, pretty good presentation. Now, the notes on this one, you got oak moss, patchouli, ambergris, grapefruit, mandarin orange, and bay leaf. This is a nice mixture and combination in this fragrance, in my personal opinion. And to me, this fragrance gets a lot of unwarranted hate, man. The hate is strong on this one. To me, on first spray, this comes off a bit sweet. You get that aquatic and aromatic presence in this one. And like one million, this one also comes off with that bubblegum vibe. I really like it, but I know a lot of you guys out there hate that bubblegum property in this one. To me, it's sweet. It's synthetic, but I like it. Now, in the dry down, I think the grapefruit is very present. becomes more to life in the dry down, and the sweetness gets a little bit more subdued. But the fragrance in, in itself, to me, man, is a really nice fragrance. When I did my top 10 summer list and I talked about wearing this in the summer, a lot of you guys disagree with it. If you haven't seen it, click here. Make sure you check that video out because I believe this is a great fragrance. And while I live here in Florida, man, you can wear this all year round. Now, even though I like this fragrance, I wouldn't say that this is very unique in itself, man. There's a lot of fragrances out there that play in the same field as this one, whether it's One Million, Wanted, or even Invictus Aqua. These guys all have that same property, the same bubblegum vibe in here. And I feel like this one is a front runner, a front contender in those fragrances, in my personal opinion, but it's really not unique for that reason. Now, if you're looking for a subdued, mild, laid back scent, then this is the one for you. Now, if you don't mind being loud, you don't mind being a crowd pleaser walking, bitch, I'm here! You can go with this one, man. This would be a good one to go with. <laughs> this one definitely gets you some attention, man. So Invictus, if you're looking for attention, you don't mind stepping out, being the center of attention, then go ahead and be a champion. Grab you some Invictus. Now, Invictus has beast mode performance. <laughs> man, I get 12 plus hours of longevity on this one, and the projection projects like crazy as well. I'm getting five plus hours on projection. Definitely a solid performance from a solid fragrance. Now, I've personally gotten compliments with this fragrance, and I believe you can as well. However, I believe the compliment or your compliment factor is going to depend on your particular audience. Now, if you're in high school, college, mid 20s, early 30s, I think this is a good way to go, man. If you out and about club scene, you're making it happen, you're stepping out to a party, you're gonna get some compliments on this. Now, if you're going to a job interview, no go. If you're going out to work, no go. This is definitely going to be more of a life of a party fragrance, and you definitely have to also watch how much you spray on this, because even though, in my opinion, it's a great scent, a lot of people don't like it, and it can become very cloying if you spray too much. Now, price point on this one is 66 to 86 bucks if you're looking to pick it up retail. If you're looking to shop online, you should be looking to pay between 45 and 60 bucks. Now, because this is a popular fragrance with two or three flankers out there, this is fairly easy to find out in the market. Whether you're searching online or you're searching big box you should be able to find this without a problem macy's sephora jc penny with the little sephora on the inside Ulta, you might be able to find this and you know just anywhere man you should be able to find this with ease now because this is still a popular fragrance you might have a little harder time finding it on places like fragrance net they might say hey we're out of stock go ahead and put your information in we'll tell you when we get it but if you don't mind waiting to save then that would be a way to go i'll also link it below in places that i can find it on Amazon. So to me, this is a casual fragrance. Again, nothing that you should wear to the office, nothing you should wear to a job interview, and nothing you should wear five or six sprays of. This can get pretty powerful pretty quick, so make sure that you're easy on the trigger and you should be good to go. Again, if you're out partying, rock on, wear what you want, and I think this will perform for you. Now, again, in my opinion, you can wear this all year. You may not be able to wear this all year. No, you can wear this all year. What the fuck am I talking about? You can wear this all year. Everywhere. You know, it's hot all year here and I can wear it all year. Now, you going through some different varying temperatures, you'll be fine. It's strong enough to cut through the winter and you can just play with the sprays and make it through the summertime, man. So, definitely route to go. Victus is here to stay. Now, what am I rating this thing? On a scale to 1 to 10, I'm giving it a 7. I feel like it's a good fragrance. There's other 
fragrances in the same space and I feel like this is one of the best fragrances in that space but there are some that are better so Invictus gets number seven let me know what you think about it do you wear Invictus do you like Invictus do you hate it are you part of the hate mob it's your boy Big Bear B like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we back again and if you're a champion and do what champions do hit the goddamn bell Rock, follow my hip, I'm not feeling